how's it going? It's uh, 10 p.m. on April 24, 2017. Um, yeah, I kind of got myself into a little bit of a pickle tonight, I guess you'd call it. Um, what, uh, and there goes my screen now, so it just changed on the top of the hour. Um, and it's kind of weird. I've I was I was working towards it. I'm like, man, I'm I'm barely gonna get an hour or two tonight, and I really didn't feel like uh, wasting it. So I thought, you know, give myself the night off, kind of relax, do the YouTube thing, and I was bored with that, and I ended up falling asleep. It was pretty bad, but anyways. So I'm also fighting a cold or something. I don't know what the hell it is. Um, so that's probably half the reason of it. I, I certainly wanted to do something tonight and I, um, I was following the forums and, um, I was getting some interesting posts by a new, uh, member to, to run eight. And, uh, I, you know, I thought it's not just for this person, but it's for anybody who's confused, um, as to where to start. Uh, what what kind of thing you can you can do to to get basically some ideas or, or get going um, so when you when you get run eight now I have I don't have every piece of equipment you don't need every piece of equipment first of all this is the beauty about run eight you you can have whatever you want and it will substitute whatever you want now here's I got all three routes so, um, I'm just, I don't know if I should, I'll go with, I'll go with the Southwest since everybody seems to have Cal, you know, California. I mean, Florida's, Florida, I haven't, you know, I miss, there's a lot of these routes that I miss doing. I really do. And I, and I, and I, when you have servers out there who can provide this kind of great information, this is kind of the thing I've been saying lately is we don't have that many. We do. Uh, or you can find them. First of all, I would, I, I would, and I'll say the recommendation. First of all, there is an RTS server for I, High Rail um, uh, for Florida. Um, high, high Rail is is the Florida. You can go on to that server. That's that's a good place where you can run trains. Uh, you can get some prototypical. If you don't have the Florida route, of course, then you're left with California and Selkirk. Now Selkirk is something that I'm working on right now uh, unfortunately we don't have any software that works uh, with version 2 now I could easily take the time and go ahead and try to program it but I had a programmer who was already working on it I didn't want to touch it not to mention that the programming um, to do it is a little bit different version 2 changed a lot of things from version 1 uh, a lot of things that are great but it also it also made issues from some of the version one stuff. Um, let me just exit out of this for a second, and I'll I'll try to. Uh, I I don't even know if this will work anymore because I don't even think it's installed. I haven't run it in a while. I don't know if it's even here. It's been a while since I've run the RTS software. I can't even find it. Hey, anyways, forget it. I I can't even I can't even find it at this point. So. Let me just go into just just a basic anything, and I don't have anything saved, so I can I can fool around here, and you can do various things. Um, so let's go let's go ahead and we'll fire up California. Okay. So first of all, if you're looking for it, it, this is this is. Um, like I got Sean lazy single player there, there's all kinds of different worlds but I would recommend you not worry about what worlds I have or what I can provide I would start them up yourself just start up from scratch and just and just start bringing in uh, everything but if you want to start with something you can always start with busy Barstow busy Barstow will give you at least something to go on it may not, it, you know, it, it'll be a lot of stuff. Um, so if you look at Busy Barstow, and I'm sure you guys have fired this up before, 
and you'll start seeing all kinds of different things. So you got like 296 trains on here. Uh, for a single player, there's a lot you can do. You can get a program called External Dispatch. This is the first time I've been in California in a couple, it seems like a couple of months now. But see, it's just loading up all those trains. It's going to fire up a train beside me, if I recall. It's going to tell you about, you know, it's... Well, I haven't seen this with the shadows and everything. It's been a while. Well, I shouldn't say that. Yes, I have. It hasn't been that long. So it's loading up all those trains. And it's telling you something stops. So there's all, all kinds of different things. It can be very, very complex. So we, I want to avoid complex for the moment. I want to make things simple so that you can start out and then you can branch out from there. Um, as you can see, the hump's there. If you want to look into running a hump, you know, you can just go in, get around the hump controller, and there's documentations. First of all, the other thing too is if you haven't checked the documentations, make sure you are into, well, that's not going to be it. Make sure you go into, <coughs> pardon me, program files. Let me see if I've got this. Uh, if I can find it, is it Runite Studios or is it just going through external dispatcher, Runite Studios, Runite? Uh, let's see if I can find that's version two. That's good. Um, user guide. Well, you can get you can access this through the help section. There's a video how to build and save a train, how to. Uh, you know, there, there's all kinds of stuff that you need to go through. So I'm not going to cover all that stuff. Um, that's something that you can do on your own. Anybody can do it. So you just go ahead, you go to the help screens. That'll tell you. It'll tell you how about how to do the hump controls. I was going to show you that. And I thought, no, I don't want to. I don't want to waste time with that. So you go Control F6. You can see that there's. We we've had different. These are particular tags that we were using um, for our California uh, boron Cadiz blocking. We, we, we had all kinds of different hump configurations and you can you can easily create one called uh, you know junk if you want and you can name it to whatever tags. Tags are what how this will sort. You, you activate the hump controller auto well, of course you have to have an empty hump and there's been ways I've been using what they call the virtual hump which is basically taking all these consists and saving them and, and doing whatever you want with them save them you can save everything here just by clicking onto it once you've clicked onto it shift F1 um, you can save it and not this world that's the world so you, you can save a world too as you as you're doing it or you can save a train see I got a train going by right now um, you can save any particular train you want now there's a few of them that are set in there you can name it you know name it anything you want and that'll save a particular consist as you've seen in probably the Florida videos I have I got tons of track numbers that do various things dispatch board that uh, you know you control like right now all these signals are on trains are all stopped they're coming to their you know some of them are running out on needles and F3 I'm cycling through this and then um, I, I don't know what routes everybody has I think I think the the main setup right now is to have that they have this section which is the Mojave sub and the needle sub the needle sub you don't have to dispatch you can just have uh, everything come up for you so let me so you can see the trains like they'll start running and this is a good basis if you just want to run uh, but it's very busy it's not a good I wouldn't recommend starting here um, if unless you really want a lot of action and you don't and you can you can change the settings too by the way if uh, you're, you're tired of seeing all these messages popping by you can uh, put all signals to just stop only or you can turn them all off 
um, that little setting right there, Shift F1, go in to do that, you won't see as much um, activity here. So they won't bother you as much because what's happening is you're seeing all these trains that are stopped and they're just calling for mama basically. So I wouldn't go this way. Personally, it depends what people want to do. But I would start with a fresh, and you see, look at this, it's just like, you know, like, cause stop because you want to, stop because this, stop because of that, blah, blah, blah. It is, you can make it as busy as you want. We've had easily 50 to 60 trains running at the same time, 200 trains a day uh, through the California system. It is, a, it can be a very busy system, but it takes a lot of people to run it. If you want to run it on your own, you're going to have to pause the clock or you're going to have to extend things. Uh, I'll show you what I mean by that. Let me go with an extra board. And this, what this does is, um, I'll just say, let's see, Barstow's mic session now. Let me go with uh, Mojave Sub BNSF Bakersfield. Okay. Okay, now everything is blank. You start out with a blank world. You can set it for um, today's reset the system time maybe. That'll probably make it dark, yeah. So we don't want that. Let's bring it back a few hours. Let's bring it back to about three o'clock in the afternoon here. And you can change it to whatever day, time, whatever. Um, so, just trying to remember all the keys. It's been a while since I've gone into the various industries. Um, so I'm still, um, as far as commands and all this other stuff, if you want to get trains running to AI, of course, like I said, there's all this documentation on how to do this. I, I don't want to go through what's in that documentation so much. Um, so your AI traffic generation, you can, I'll just say this for much. Shift F2, if you have AI traffic generation, this is how we had it set up. We had it maximum 60, um, all the spawn points that were active. You set the probability to what it is. This thing is not what I would call ideal because what happens is the probability is based on a random number generator. Um, and however they do the random numbers in this, uh, I've mentioned this in other videos before and live streams, you see a lot of very unrealistic results in these numbers over time. So I wouldn't necessarily be a huge fan of, of doing that because in the same thing goes with the way bills it generates. I, see, I, I, I have seen unrealistic results maybe you're not worried about that and if that's the case then use it set the probability to what you want uh, you may or may not get and you can you can use all the different spawn points you want you can turn them all on like if you want to have um, a lot of this is set up for um, left-handed running but you can you can bring stuff out of Yermo you can bring stuff out of wherever I mean you can you can have stuff come in basically anywhere. I think that's all the, the, the various ones there is. Yeah. And the AI status will show you all the various trains, blah, blah, blah. Um, <coughs> but uh, I don't know. I, I'm trying to figure out, because uh, a lot of people are just like, there, there's some good there's some good stuff out there for videos and tutorials, but then again, I don't, I haven't really created one uh, myself. Um, I'm just trying to think if I should do something to California or more, more, or deal more with, um, <coughs> like Florida or something like that, or I, yeah, it's been a while. So, I mean, you got this great yard that, that you can bring a lot of stuff in. So that's, that's great and all. Um, you know, like I said, you can use the hump. That's, that's great. I think one of the questions that comes up, well, how do you start and how, how, if, if you're not using the waybills, then, then what can you do to, 
to make it interesting. And what I usually will end up doing is I will go in and I will create some type of sheet in Google Sheets. You can just go into sheets.google.com or docs.google.com, whatever the heck it is. So you go in, uh, you go into some kind of spreadsheet. It starts off on title. It, it starts white. I like personally. I, I pr prefer to use a black background and then turn everything into some color like cyan or whatever. Um, you you're gonna have to know I, I personally know this if you don't know this or are not interested in learning this then really it's probably not recommended you try it um, but this is this is how simple it can be you can you can use car card systems like model railroads do you can there's there's all kinds of things and there's and there's model railroad software I believe there should be. Then this is as, as opposed to going through the whole waybills thing. If you go into uh, if you go into car forwarding software, model railroad car forwarding software, you'll find um, various. There, there's actually I bet you you will find some spreadsheets I can't think of the ones I would say do that and you may find some really good uh, spreadsheets that are waybill generators and stuff like that okay so well, let's say you're not you know you you, you don't want to do that or whatever but what you want to do you you want to start out. You want to start out. You got all these industries. First of all, the good thing about California is, it's got all the industries built in. Um, let me. Man, it's been a while. So Control I, when you're in single player, will allow you to go through, and I I've had added some more like in Barstow. That's just to give you. But it's got it's got a list of all the various industries. So if you want to look at where Kern Oil is, this tells you the various tags that will come in. Now this is all explained in those document documents. I'm not going to go through that part tonight. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to go through what's already there. You're going to have to do the research and get into into those documents. You can always ask questions about and and always be as detailed. I I, I like the fact that people are using the form. Or even the video in the YouTube videos to ask questions. I'm 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 fine. You keep asking the questions as long as um, it's it's leading to a conversation or you know or or something that I can give you an honest response. Then that that works. So this one here will you know, and this is in the documentation as well. It's and and some of these tags don't make any sense, quite frankly. So if you want to see where this industry is you can transport to it and you know I hit escape so that automatically uh, what's going on here okay here we go so this is Kern oil I guess so again if I want to go and you can edit the tracks so it shows you this is where the yeah, I, I saw it there for a second that little red area is where the industry is and again this is all in the configuration so what happens is once you bring a car there that's when the industry will start taking place you wanna you wanna run a world that starts out uh, if you you know eh, it's hard it's hard to say I mean like I've said before I mean this is this is a open this is really an open thing where you can here I'll give you an example um, I'm trying to think if I have these if you don't have these I'm not too sure you can create one but let's say uh, what do we want here 
BNSF Bakersfield Main 2. So you go into Train Types, Mixed Freight, and like I said, if you don't have one, you can create one. I don't think any of these have uh, industries tagged. Tagged for industries is what you want to go. So let's just put, um, like I'm just typing in anything here. And I'm going to call it uh, test. Test. Um, I'm just going to call it M YouTube. <laughs> so, and you can look at and see what this all this means. So, <coughs> pardon me. So we want if you have the SD40s, you'll have these uploaded. Uh, so you know, let's say we want to have SD40s, GP40s. Um, we want to have uh, one of the cabooses. Which one do I have? Do I have AT? I think I have both of them, but I'm gonna. Okay, I think I have this caboose, but I'm not sure. Tagged for industries. So I want to use tagged for industries, which blanks out the tags. What that means is it's going to generate uh, tags for all the industries that are in your system. Whatever, Bakersfield already has a bunch of industries. So this will allow you and will get you started. Uh, allowed mid train. Uh, we don't have to worry about that. Um, local road names, uh, hell, let's just put them all in. I don't even know if I have all of these. What hell, you know, we, we, we just want, we just want to train. And right away you can spawn now. I'm not going to worry the 45s or the 40 tunnels or, or even the newer looking engines. So, MUTube just spawned in Bakersfield. If you want to know where that is, of course, it's right here. And, it's going to be and of course, that's going to be loud as hell because that's just the way my setup works. So now, to get that train into Bakersfield, you can, and I mean, you can use you can use the humps. You can have it. Uh, you can have a train that that spawns closer to the hump, but that's that's the other thing too. If if you don't want to run a train all across the main line, you have spawn points. Um, go back to train types. Go back to spawn points. You can have trains spawn right at Lenwood, and you can create you can create trains here, just the same same way I just did that. And what that'll do is it will create a train right at Lenwood, wherever I can find it. I know I'll find it. Well, let's get this train going. We want to get this train going, okay? While well, I'm yapping here, and then I'll figure out how to get it in. So we want to flick a switch to get this into the yard, and then we will just click it once to get the yellow light. Green is a, sta as a stage. That'll, that'll, that should get it going. It's going to make noise here. Bear with me. So yeah, it's got it's got a lot of got a Florida East Coast of CSS. It's like a CSX uh, train. You know, it did it. I don't see what is all on it. You can see this is a pretty good uh, size train, right? Well, it's even got some helpers on the back <laughs> with a caboose. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, whatever. I guess it needed helpers. I didn't think it needed helpers, but anyways, apparently it does. So Control F8 shows you your tag or it shows you your uh, road numbers, and then Control F8 again. Now what that is is it's showing the trains and the industry tag. So it's actually tagging out the trains that you have set in your configuration. If you don't like those, you have to remove the tags. Or you sorry, you have to remove the trains in your system. Okay. So we'll we'll stand over by the yard here. I think we're all set. Uh, we'll just put them into this track here. And I'm going to go ahead. See, now it's spawning other trains because I got AI set up. 
So that's the other thing too. You want to start slowly getting a world done. You can. There's a lot you can do. I'm gonna click. I clicked onto that. Relinquishment stopped. That's so I can take control of that train. But now you can start. If you want to start running trains, you can. You can let the AI keep on throwing them, and they will start throwing them at you. And again, you can you can set the AI controls by going into your. I'll see there's your AI status, AI traffic generation. You can go ahead and you can slow this down as low, low or as high as you want it. I got it between 2 and 56 minutes, so I, I have a, like quite a bit of variation. But as I was saying, um, in order to not spawn every single industry on the planet, what you're going to want to do... And and this is the thing with Bakersfield, whatever. You're actually going to get you're going you're going to get industries that I I don't even think are. I think they're in L.A. or something. When you first get it, we've already removed a lot of the old ones. But what you have to do is um, I'm trying to remember how. Yeah, delete this industry. You will start. You basically will have to start. Um, deleting some of the industries uh, what the local freight uh, uh, symbols are you'll have to go in and you will have to delete all these if you don't if you feel a little weird about deleting that this industry configuration file can be backed up and I think I do have a backup so if I go into if I go into C Program files. Uh, da, 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 da. I know I'm going the wrong way. Program. Um, I know I'm going the wrong way. Let me go into recent. I'll get to it. But uh, that ain't it. That I had. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So. Oh yeah. Okay. It's right in the C drive. Uh, da, 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 da. Run eight studios is in the C drive. Okay. Um, where is my configuration? It's been a while, guys, so bear with me. Uh, I know I'll find it. Is that it? That ain't it. I just saved it. See, it's just spawning trains like crazy now. I don't know where the tra the configuration is, and I know some people are going to know where the heck it is, but sorry, it's been a while, and I haven't really and I haven't really needed it uh, used to do it. Uh, content. I know I'm looking at these things. Content. Okay, hang on a second here. I think I have to go to the region. Version two routes. Uh, that I don't think that's it. I think I have to go into the regions. I gotta go into the regions. I remember this. Well, okay, I'll go into it. I'll go into it just to. But I don't think that's it. No, that's not it. It's not content. Signals, shaders, uh, fonts, avatars, when all else fails. Well, that didn't work too good. Is it in here? It says screenshots. Jeez. Well, my train's coming in. I know it's in the regions. Ah, man, this is a great one. User guides. It's probably, it'll even tell you in the user guides. Uh, version 2 routes. I already been here. Regions. I knew that was here. So you want to go into Southern California. There it is. So see these little twos? So one just saved, right? So you got your traffic. I got copies here. Um, this thing's going to get noisy. I'll minimize this for a second while we bring this in. 
So just like that, you could be, if you want to just work as a switcher, and who cares what else is going on in the world? The trains, here's another little trick too. These trains that pop up, I'm just going to throw a red light in front of it. Okay. When these trains start popping up and you're like, oh no, there's a train here. You, you don't have to worry about it. You can just leave the lights at red. Um, the train will spawn only if it has, even if it says it's spawning, it'll only spawn if it has room to spawn. To stop the AI, oh, I got a match. Yeah, I'm on the sixth inner track here. So you can spawn some extra switch. Yeah, he'll end right here. And I've already set him to, to end when he comes in. So, of course, you know, this kind of train has got a lot of stuff in it. But I'm not going to go into, like, I can do it. It's not a problem here. I don't know why that, I don't know if you guys see that little screen when it's doing that funky little thing lately. But it's kind of weird. <laughs> so, um, so there's my industry fi file. So these were all copied, right? So I can go into, I can go into copying this. Well, actually, I can go, ah, what the hell did I just do? Cancel that. I don't know what I'm doing. You can, you can copy the humps. You can, you can. All you do is you control C to this and control V again. See and then see it's making co it's making all kinds of copies here. This is the one that the traffic's going to do. So if you want to change things and you're afraid to 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 mess around with things, just make a copy. And then you can always rename this and bring it back in. So there's your config file, your traffic file. Your config file is going to be what your industries are. So it says config.ind your traffic file is going to be what kind of trains go in. Uh, industry configuration, I think that's a sheet. I, I forget what some of these are, but that will allow you. Now you have a copy. So if you just want to work, holy, jeez, I don't know why it's doing that lately. And yeah, see, it's gonna it's gonna complain that somebody it, it, it'll it'll complain until it relinquishes. But um, Say, for example, you only want to do the stuff that's on a particular train, and you just want to run a short line. Let's say you want to run a short line. All you're interested in doing is you want to um, you want to switch, let's say, first of all, I'll give you another little trick here and this is this is a good resource site I don't know why this thing's doing a lot of goofy things um, Wow and it's half halfway I hope this is meaningful because this is this takes a lot of going through run it depot is a good site they also have uh, um, I don't want to discourage people from using RTS uh, servers but they also have servers they have more in-depth servers so there's a lot of this is the <laughs> what I would say is probably the uh, place to go um, if you're looking. Uh, I, I wish RTS had a California server right now or had enough. We just never had, um, especially when version 2 came out, things thinned out quite a bit real quick. And then eventually when you don't have, you know, you don't have servers, well, then what can you do? And I, I wasn't going to take ownership of that anymore. So, you know, if a server comes up, that's great. They got all kinds of stats. But one of the things is you go into the reference here. It'll show you different train symbols that you can use. Um, I don't even know what the car database is. Okay, whatever. Uh, this, is, this wasn't what I wanted to go into. Uh, Run 8 content, external dispatcher is another program that you can look into. The maps are what I was going to say. So what you can do is you can go into the Mojave sub, and this is where we're at right now. So let's just say you want to have, um, I don't know, you want to run SJVR. 
and you can do this you can do this very easily say say for example all you want to do is run SJVR you create one train that operates local and the only industries you create are or allow to stay in are these ones okay so let's say you want to do operations with SJVR and SJVR is probably not the greatest place let me see if there's one really good one here um, Victorville's a good one to start out with well that's on the uh, that's the I don't know if everybody has Cajon sub so um, but that's the button will will branch so if you want to run UP or SJVR you can you can you can do that and by doing so what you want to do here and like I said I have copies and let me go back to this train here if I can find it where am I? I forget where. Oh yeah, I'm already in there. That's fine. Okay, so he's exited. He's still coming to a stop. Now, you can... There's a few things you can do. One, you can go ahead and forward some of this other traffic to other places or figure out where these trains are because these are all your various trains and they'll tell you where they are in the various configurations these I know for a fact are uh, some of the SJVR trains uh, they tend to be blocked so they're easy to switch like LOQ 53 is uh, UP uh, up by Moncrief all these tags, there's Boron, L L that's the Boron Loco So you can easily go in there and you can and you can switch this train. Um, you can create you can create uh, switches. Say if you don't want to spawn one in, well, okay, that's fine. Um, let's say you just want to keep that as road power and you want to put in your own um, switchers here. You can do that. Control F1 is the train maker upper. Uh, I do use this right now to do a lot of my tagging. I I I, I go I don't bother with the way they do their generation and then like I said it has something it has to do with I don't like their uh, random uh, the random uh, routines they're not truly random <coughs> so and I'll get into more of that I don't know how many how detailed or how skilled people are who's gonna look at this some of them you know they're not gonna know a damn thing about computers they just want to run trains Others, they're going to know extra things, and they're going to want to do other things. Um, so this is this is this is an open there's a thing to, to to basically go ahead and go nuts. You can start with a busy barstow if you want to run traffic and dispatch, and that'll get you going. And you'll see all kinds of traffic. You'll be able to run train. It all depends what you want. Do you want to switch? Do you want to run trains? Do you want to do a little bit of both? Does it really matter? you can delete trains if it's too busy for you and you, you can't handle it and there's just too much stuff you can always go ahead and you know delete a train but there's a train right there that's already into the yard it's ready to go sorry I was gonna make some switchers so to get the switchers going uh, yeah, available units what am I doing here freight locals so it'll tell you which ones you do have uh, in yellow the ones in grays you know I don't own so if I want to have uh, SD40 BNSF, oh, let's go with these ones. I don't know why. Right mouse click to reverse the one unit. Place the train, and just like that, there's my. Oh, I could have put a tag on it too. And it starts off with some random fuel. You can go ahead and do whatever you want with that. You can tag it. That's just the annoying dog upstairs, or dogs, I should say. Uh, let me just. Oh, I gotta do that. 
So now, now you got switches that you can switch this train and break it up and do whatever you want. Um, so that's that's as easy as that. Or you, can, or if you don't want a train, say you like train, you got a bunch of trains around there, and you got trains that you don't know what the hell's going on with. You just click on it, delete, and it's gone. <coughs> and you can always bring you can always bring one back. So let's see, we're at about ten forty. I want to go into some of the some of the easy things that you can do into sheets. So because that's what you know the basics of run eight there should be enough information as to how how to do all this stuff within the documentations so let me go into what you can do and I've tried to do this on a lot of my videos I've, I've actually taken people through the whole process of going through the entire system but of course to try to find that is ridiculous and I know there's a lot of content on YouTube so let me exit right out of here you got to start with um, first of all I have all the various uh, maps I have various uh, content uh, uh, you'll be seeing me use this you can find this stuff on Google it will tell you like this one's for Selkirk uh, of course I have the maps from Run8 Depot as well of the various routes um, you know Barstow looks like and all that other stuff so you find your sources of what you want to do or or you get very creative and you create your own so let's just go back to our original Google sheet and the, and the thing about it is you don't have to have Excel you can just go into Google you can keep it for yourself you can share it with your friends you can do all kinds of things so a couple of easy things that you can do uh, one you can create new sheets here and there's there's probably tutorials one of the things you can do is look for tutorials on Google Sheets because this is this is like a, a calculator but it, it, it's actually it goes beyond it and this is how you can you can look at various things so let's let's just say I'm trying to think of one of the better ways of, of doing it to get now what I what I've done I'll just show you I'll, I'll go yeah let me go with mine for a moment and I'll just show you what I am doing right now so uh, yeah so I'll take you through my sheet first of all what what this is all about and you can see I have tons of different things I got a master list of every train that I have and there's a lot of data in here that really doesn't make much sense but then you get into the scheduled data I have true false statements as to what day of the week they operate I have the location where it spawns where it works where it deletes I have these things these are very important because what you're seeing these decimal values here first of all this one here uh, all it is is a statement it's equal R-A-N-D, which stands for random, and two brackets. The other one here is a percentage, which is, you know, a lateness factor that I use. And then what I do is I copy this. I'll show you where the, the formula here, and this is where we get into, you, you don't have to be as complex as me. You can be very simple, and it can be, uh, it doesn't have to be as complex as this, but if you're into al you know anything about algebra and whatever, that's basically going to represent uh, uh, basically to say, okay, if it's under 50%. And I don't want to get too complicated into this, but that what this does is, for example, um, you'll notice that column A B has the scheduled time. So in most cases it shows here. I did ones I did ones earlier tonight. Let me go with the ones that I did. And I started setting up my schedule for tonight and I actually posted this on my on my thing. And this was all typed in. This isn't, you know, basically all I did was I just moved this data over. I didn't copy it over. I just moved it and typed it. Copied copied what I could. Some things you can't copy, like formulas and that. You can copy and paste and do all kinds of other things. But 
The ones in red are lateness factors. And I programmed lateness factors into this master list, which has to do with a random generator. So that's all that is. Um, call boards, another one. Um, that's, I don't know what that one is. That's, I haven't used that one in a while. Okay. It's Selkirk, but I'm just trying to remember what. <laughs> I think it's in order. You can you can order these, and I think this is ordered by train and the blocks. So these are the outgoing blocks. So what you see in my virtual hump is I ha I might have three different blocks for particular trains. This, that, and this. That's what that's all about. Uh, some of my departures, um, my hump configurations. This is what you see me putting in and saving uh, the percentages that don't matter uh, the various blocks that go in uh, it has nothing to do with that these are the various hump tracks my train maker upper this is this is a this is where you start getting into some of the 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 different things um, so I, I copy and paste uh, where is it right here I copy and paste this so if I want to go in and say I want to so let me go to arrivals and if I want to set the hump up to do let's say this particular block so what happens is the color codes and you can change colors red as in like the Boston Red Sox anything that's going out towards the east I color in red purple goes back west and blue goes down south so ideally what's happening is anything that's coming in off of CP 296 is coming from the west that's why you don't see purple so every tag that comes in is going you know is going to be going to Boston now in some cases uh, I don't know I don't want to complicate things too much see this one for example the reason why 60 is not is included here and it's not included here is because I know that Pittsburgh has a train that goes from Allentown AL to Pittsburgh ALPI 60 is the Pittsburgh block so I've take I've purposely taken it out of the Allentown train so that I can't have that in the matrix will actually show you just basically what the trains are where they go and that all comes from that list this all comes from my Conrail data. So again, let me go with File New for a second. I don't want to. I, I wanted to show that just to say this is how you can you can start things out. But just start with a, a, any spreadsheet like this, and you can you can start. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to look great. It doesn't have to do anything. But. Uh, let's see let's say we have uh, this is how easy you can do this um, whoops I gotta start first of all I gotta make this easy by making sure that goes like that so this what that does is that's basically putting the color cyan with a black background so let's say industry one now there's a there's some really cool uh, tricks you can do. If you type in industry one and then industry two, if you want, uh, there's a trick in Go or, uh, Google Sheets or any spreadsheets where you can click and spread this, and then you can repeat this number to so see how it uh, it does that, right? Um. So, yeah, let me go. Let me go all the way to 20 industries. Okay, and you can have the name of the industry, uh, what train you you can put all kinds of information. I don't want to bore you with that amount. I want to I want to get you started to where you either you either use what's in the program, as I've shown you, as far as bringing a train in and using the industries, back up your data, set up the set up everything that you want, or here's what you can do um, 
I don't know what what's going to be in 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 what industry. That's use your imagination. Okay, whether it be box cars, what you know, whatever. But let's just say, um, I'm just trying to think of how I want to how I would want to do this. Um, I'm going to use, you know what I'll do, you can even, you can even go so far as to this. Here's your random number. Okay, so that's just a random number, which is, you know, doesn't mean nothing, right? It's a percentage. If you want to use a random number between 1 to 10, you do random number, so equals rand, left bracket, right bracket, and then you do times 20. To get it to, um, you, can do, um, you can do an integer, so you put int before it. Now you can do, you can change the format in there so that it actually um, now, now it's doing a 20. So you control, you can copy it. If you have random numbers all over the place, they're not truly random because what's happening is the program. But I, but I wanted to demonstrate this. So every time you paste, and notice there was a zero that came up there, and there's no 20s. So in order to get that. It's what's happening is it's going from 0 to 19. So in order to get that out of there, you want to plus 1. Paste that all out. So see, you can you can now generate. Now you got a 20 in there. You're not going to see other, other basic things. So you want to easily build a, a train. What I, what I personally like to do when you copy and paste something, it will actually uh, throw in uh, you know, whatever. Um, it'll 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 throw in. So <coughs> it'll. What was I saying here? I don't know what I was saying. You want to make sure everything is nice and tight. Just click on that. Double click that. Um, but like I said, this is this is the world that you know. However you want to do it. So let's say, for example, I got these random numbers that are sh that are spitting up here. Um, I've got a twenty. This one here. I don't know what do we want to call this. I'll call that industry. So, so what's happening here is you got your industries. Well, where is it shipping to? Well, industry 10's got something shipping to 16. That's that's what that's all about. Um, and I'm just trying to figure out here. as your industries you can go over here and you can you can save for the number of cars you want in a train you could put um, well here here let me let me start with the industries and go I, I don't know how many cars you're gonna have in a train you can make a random number uh, between Mm, I'm trying to think of a low and a high how that would work. You can start with the low of 40, let's say. Um, so number of cars. Let's say here you got a number from uh, that's showing up to 1 to 20. okay. If you want to start with a minimum of 15 cars <laughs> sure enough 15 shows up that's funny if you want to start with a with uh, anywhere between minimum of 15 cars to 
say 50. So 15 plus 30, or yeah, I think that would work. Okay, so now we, we're, we're, by that now, we're saying it's going to be a 23 car train. So all we're, all we're doing here, um, trying to think of the best way to, to, to do this. And there's so many different ways. It's just imagination of how you how you want to you can pull up a waybill list uh i used to do it like with a waybill list so that you know waybill this this train that way you didn't have stuff going all over the place just randomly but just to get stuff moving you can you can basically say all right so it's calling for industries let's say this goes to industry 13 <laughs> sure enough that's calling 13 so that doesn't work too well Okay, so this one's going to industry four. This is really odd because it's pointing to two. But anyways, I don't know. Um, so it's calling a it's calling a number between one and, and twenty. So let's just say um, uh, we've got twenty three. I'm going to call a number over here and I'll just say it's that number so that one shows up 8 okay and I really don't want to you know this is this is a, this is how you can do it to make it your own okay so now it's saying 12 that's fine so in C12, we want we had a oh we already specified how many cars we want. Here's another thing too, what's gonna happen. If you want to specify something that's outside of the random number, there's a few things that you can do. You can type it in again so that it doesn't change, and then just maybe color code it something different so that you know, now you know that okay it doesn't matter how many times this thing changes you've decided it the other thing that you can do now that you have a number in there so let's say we're, we've decided we're gonna make this a 23 car train you can go control C to copy and then control C and V did I do that right let me see control C well now it's saying 48 so let's Let's call it a 48 car train, even though it's quite a bit, but that's fine. Control C V. See how 48 popped in there? So now you, Control Shift V copies the value. So now you know that you have 48. Okay. Um, industry number doesn't matter what it pops up. I'm going to turn all of these here into yellow. And yellow is basically what we're setting up our waybills to be, okay? And I will start off. So it's calling number 19. And then, um, so it has something for 9. It's calling number 3, has something for 8. Okay, you get the drift. It's calling number nine again. Now, the, now the, the cool thing about this, I mean, you're, you're dealing with patterns a, a little bit here because this is getting all kinds of random numbers, but having the first number up there kind of helps to keep it random. But the, the main thing here is, um, despite the fact that the randomness changes, you can just use one random number for everything and then just go ahead and pick it. Uh, industry 9 what was I saying industry 9 um, okay so that has 15 but you get the drift so now you've got you you've, you've got yourself some industries that you, you see what's happening and you do it 48 times this is why it takes me a while to set up things because I basically have to set up four five six trains 
And if I'm running a session on a Sunday, my own sessions on a Sunday, and then I want to run another one on a Monday, all of a sudden I'm kind of tired tonight and, you know, I knew I had a lot to do. All of a sudden, you know, it's just like, oh, wait, well, damn, I really don't have time to set this up and it takes a while to set up. And no, I don't have a version 2 software right now. And no, I don't want to set up a car forwarding system. Um, I just want to keep what I have going. I don't mind doing the extra work because it's worth it, especially if you've seen some of the videos I've had lately, some of the hump operations and everything else going on. It's worth it. Um, maybe it's worth it for me. It might not be worth it for everybody because it's a lot of effort. Um, but it depends how thorough you want or how much you want to do. I'm going to run this for 15 more minutes because after that, you know, that's my limit for tonight because um, I want to go to bed soon. But... Uh, I do, you know, I don't normally go to bed till at least quarter after. So let me go into the program again, and I'll try to sum this all up. Hopefully, hopefully this makes sense to you guys. You know, thumbs it up. It's not as detailed and professional. And I mean, there's people who want me to do this professional thing. I'm just like, I don't know. There's so much. I mean. There's so much that you can do with it, and that's the beautiful thing about this. This is this is a sandbox. You can do whatever the hell you want with it. Um, there's no limitations. You can run as many trains as you want. You can you can run as few as you want. You can let trains sit there in limbo at signals, and uh, you can take them away from you know whatever else. Um, so what I do. And get out of here, that thing here. What I would do normally, I don't know if I want to go into a whole world. I don't know what Mike's session was, but let's take a look at it. This is a less, probably a less busier section, or maybe it is a session so we got like an evening type thing going on I don't see any train oh no that's not right I don't know what that was but that didn't work um, well that's an extra board let me go to a world here Sean's lazy single player that sounds like a good one like I said you gotta build up oh that's 276 trains Sean's Lazy Single Player. I have no idea what this is. It's been a while. So, yeah, I, I already see some signals here. We're out in needles, I believe, where we should be, judging by what I see here. So it's, it's, it's spawning in all these trains. So you can go ahead and you can dispatch yourself. You can keep these right-handed. And like I said, as far as lazy, you know, you just... You're basically running the trains, letting them run themselves. And sure enough, here's some trains, and they're going to start going in a minute. That's the back end of one train, head end of another. I think that's why I went there because I was probably running I was probably running in the meet and you, you can you can literally dispatch instead of running trains you can actually dispatch and 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 ride along too um, but let me just take a look and see if I can find something in one of these yards uh, the lights are all lit up you can run the Amtrak or, or you know whatever let me take a look at um, do I even have anything in Bakersfield here? I, I have no idea. Let me take a look. Looks like I got... No, well, I got lots of engines and crap. Now, this looks like a busy bar stow with... Uh, yeah, because you got the caboose here and... Some cars or whatever. Yeah, this is this is this looks like busy Barstow with a few other things in here. Um, I'm 
so yeah you can go in and oh yeah here's a here's a good train all these nuns so all you do is if you want to tag your own thing you got bar back here which had nothing in it and then you go to the tagger now the good thing about the tagger is is once you have the industry set up if you want to you can go ahead and set this for industry tags and then you can go ahead and select which ones so there there's all your industries so now you can go in and you can you can just say say for example you want to um, this is hopefully maybe this might be some of the, the the best things that you can do so you go into industry tags in order to prevent industry tags from happening what you have to do is you have to not have it select industry tags in the trains that are coming in so the trains that are coming in are just going to be with none basically you don't have any tags set up and you want to use the, the, you, you want to circumvent the random generation and do your own thing so now you go back to your spreadsheet I hit F4 that takes me over here so now what I can do is um, I don't have the names to everything you can create indexes you can do all kinds of things but let's say uh, let's say that's you know the 19th one okay we're gonna do we're gonna do for, for we're gonna do pretend this is instead of industries we'll we'll say it's cars so I'm gonna take the 19th one on here or, or whatever you can you can create indexes you can do all kinds of things with uh, Excel uh, let's just call it anything it doesn't matter so um, let me go with my let me go back to mine because I like mine a little bit better yeah I don't want to do that here hang on a second the only reason why I want to go back to the one that I already have is because <coughs> I'm surprised it saves all that untitled spreadsheets uh yeah okay so in train maker upper which is just a tag I have it's just all that is is um, so down here you know it calls you call a certain number at, at, at a certain level like yeah, there like number six um, if you look down further and you see okay well that has three of the 49s so you can you can use the same thing you can go like this watch this now that ain't it go like this you can hold shift down and use the same tag so say this is the 50th one like that it didn't do it why did it do it for that is it because it was a center beam I don't know why it didn't do it for the other one I don't know oh I see okay the reason why it didn't allow it for the third one is because and I'm not used to these tags the way they are um, the way those are set up to use the industry tags but what what's happening there what I have set up for this is is basically bridge traffic so it has nothing to do with industries all it has to do with this is bringing trains in so industry tags is a totally different phenomenon industry tags is where they tag it for and I'll show you because we've already tagged it the first two so now see these two are tagged for industries that one doesn't have a, a, a train associated with it because the reason why that one here doesn't is because there's no center beams that are supposed to be for that particular industry so when you're playing around with industries that's a whole new world um, but it can be done 
there's the the you know and I don't want to I don't want to go there's there's so much I could go on forever the various things and and honestly I got too much of my own stuff to do right now to even worry about it uh, to go on forever um, I don't know you know as far as what specifics people are looking for um, but you can tag you 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 basically all you do is you set up the industries the way you want it. You tag it to whatever you want it. It gets to the industry. Uh, you can create switch lists. The, the whole thing is in there. It's all in those documentations. I'm not going to go through the documentations unless there's a specific question about the documentations. You have to go through and see, you know, what that's all about. The reason why I'm not worried about it right now is I'm not worried about running industries at the moment. Uh, we had trying to remember how we had it set up for it's been a while since we've had it set up for uh, um, I'm trying to remember now we were using the industry system for uh, version 2 for a little bit there and then we started doing other things well, what we found was that it it wasn't truly random um, so we were gonna start generating you know version 1 trains it's okay. I mean, it sounds like okay. Well, we're dead end. We just gave up on it. But no, that's not the case. There's a lot of there's a lot of work that's involved. The bigger the route, and of course, California is bigger, the more you're going to have. So that's why I recommend starting small. If you're looking for switching and you're just looking for some realistic operations, start small. Copy the industry configurations. Like I said before, all you have to do is go into the industry configs and you can take in as many like you can take 84 lumber you can delete that industry you know you can delete all these industries and it'll only and, and all that information whoops that ain't right um, that was importing um, but you can delete all the industries you know you want now of course that's gonna save the industry I wish it I wish there was an abort on there I really do but now I just lost all my industries which is fine because I don't care because I can go back to an old copy or just recreate the industries again um, so it's not a big deal I wish there was an abort but there wasn't so it resaved it but that's okay because I'm not in any hurry to come back in. well I shouldn't say I'm not in a hurry I like California but you know it's big uh, there's a lot, you know, once you get this much industries and data and like I said, it takes about two people to dispatch this territory under full prototypical. You don't have to run prototypical. You don't have to run the, all the industries. You can run the, whatever industries you want. It's totally up to you. I mean, you don't have to have all the trains in there too. So you can go into the traffic file and, uh, but I'm probably rambling on, whoops. <laughs> but uh whoops hang on a second i'll get to it here no that ain't what i want i know there was something i wanted to do i'm trying that's not what i wanted to do um let me relinquish that for a minute no it's not even on what the hell oh i'm, I'm great oh yeah there we go so you got to see these all these trains you can you can hold a bunch of them if you want to. You can delete them if they're too much. So that's all the AI train, Shift F2. Um, again, you can change the traffic generation, the spawn points. Oops, Shift F2. You go to AI traffic generation, your spawn points, and then you go into the various trains. You can go ahead and you can change any of these. And all you have to do is click a, a delete key and that will remove it. Just uh, I'm not going to do it because I got all these in here and you know maybe one day I might want to use it. But trust me, you can. Just make backups before you change everything. And you probably don't even have that many trains in here. We put all these trains in here uh, when we did California. We set uh, we set these ratios up to a particular level. The thing was it didn't stick to these ratios. Um, which is fine. It's still, you know, if you're if you're into having some crazy random crap go on, that's okay. Uh, we just didn't want to have the crazy random crap go on. So, I mean, 
that's about it. I can't think of anything else because I'm just rambling now. <laughs> so, um, what is this, a dawn? Yeah, 7.33. I thought it was getting dark. I thought it was the end of the day, but... Uh, <coughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm losing my voice now. You got the passenger train. You got all kinds of things. You can do whatever, you know. There's no limits. It's totally, it's totally unlimited. It's basically... And then, you know, as you're saving along, you, you've done for the night, you just go ahead and you go save as... Um, so this says the 2090 session, so that's Sean's Lazy single player. It, you can resave that, and the world's saved. So then you can continue on where you left off. Um, you can pause the clock. There's another one other thing that I'll say. If you go to Shift F1, say 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 uh, it's getting too much. You know, there's too many trains going on. What you can do is you can stop all the trains. Say, say for example, and this is what we used to do. We would run trains in AI for a particular amount of time, and then suddenly we would just stop, and we would freeze time. You can freeze time. <coughs> the benefit of doing this, and you got to go in. Now the the clock has frozen at seven thirty four fifteen. The reason why that's beneficial. And I know I'm, I'm getting to the end of this right here. What you want to do now is under AI traffic generation, you turn it off so that no more trains spawn. And then you go ahead and you cancel all the signals so that they stop. Basically, what you're doing is you're freezing the world. The other thing is what you're doing. I'm just going to go ahead and throw that in here. Um, if I go to the industry configuration, What's another one I can do? I know there's switch list. I'm just trying to think if there's an actual switch list train. Back bar, back, back, well, maybe. Um, no, I don't know what train I'm under here. I'll relinquish my train here. Let me see if I can get a switch list up for this. Probably not. Actually, there's a, there's a better way of doing it. I know there is. Ah, that's it. Control L. So now, what what happens here? I just pause the um, the clock. Okay. So you click onto this and you use your down arrow. Of course, everything says it's ready, which is not what I wanted. But yeah, everything says it's ready because I probably changed the time or whatever. I know it's eleven sixteen. I'll I want to show you this this part I want to show you. Let me go into Busy Barstow. Uh, again, I, it's not my perfect cup of tea, but I'm going to use that and go into Busy Barstow and I'll show you what I mean. You have two options to try to control the onslaught of time. As I said, you can pause the clock And I mean, what I mean by the onslaught of time is, if I can get to it, shift I, the control I, what the heck? I can't remember. No. I thought it was shift die, but maybe it's right control. Is it alt? Dang it. I'm trying to I'm trying to find it. It's been a while. I'm 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 so used to different key combinations and I haven't used it in a while. It's not letting me do shift die. Maybe I have to click on a train. I don't think that's it, but... Uh, 
Yeah, I'm trying, and I can't. I can't get that up again. Control I does it. And it keeps on saving it. Oh, it's Control L. See? Like I know what the hell I'm doing. Okay. So, anyways, busy Barstow is getting busy. So, what happens is, I'll show you this real quick here. Of course, I bet you this busy Barstow is already resaved to something else. Is it? Of, uh, of course it is. Yeah, they're all ready. Okay, no, there's one. So the Intermodal's got... The, only, the Intermodal's the only one. Oh, there's another one here. Let's 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 go to the intermodal, and I know, I know it's not every, every all of you guys have this, and I'll I'll demonstrate this. And yeah, I got yeah, I'm gonna end this real soon. But I want to show you just how this works. We're gonna go into the intermodal now. It's a little bit, probably a little bit quieter. That's the auto rack facility. Let me go into here. All right. So in the intermodal facility, what happens here? Oh my God! Do I have to go through all that again. See this. This shows you what's ready. Okay, so in track number 222, we've got some cars that have destination SBI on it that still has four hours to go. So let me see if I can find those. That's probably them right here. I bet you it's those empties. I don't know for sure. But I would have, a, I, I would, I would say that that's probably them. Now, remember how I said it was four hours, right? Now, the problem with if you don't, if you don't have time frozen, time is just going to click away, and industries are going to load and empty. That's why I, I mentioned the whole frozen time thing, and that's why we did it. Watch what happens here. I'm going to unfreeze the time. Well, maybe that made a difference. Because all of a sudden it went to 11 o'clock. Whoa, that's very nice. Now we got like 3,337 3, or something or other. Oh, okay. Let me, get, let, me, let me load this up one more time. Sorry. Main menu. Busy bar still. Launch that. Maybe that's why. Because it was frozen. It was frozen on an old date and time. So wasn't making much sense you know what I mean so it kind of it kind of uh, there's a switch list right control L if you if you if you have a particular unit and this is all in the thing but I'll show you this okay good so we do have the intermodal facility I'm just going through the various ones. I know there were some locals at uh, Gamara Farms, um, West Colton. Yeah, see, a lot of this we probably exhausted. But the, see, there's four hours at San Bernardino. Watch this. I'll show you how this works. And then I'm going to bed. We get ourselves over to San Bernardino. Watch this doesn't work either. It does work, trust me on that one. So see, some of them have Chicago, and this is all has to do with the industry configuration file because this particular location has these intermodal cars. Yeah, and I must have been using it because it looks like it's all set up that way. But so you notice it's 11:04. Now I can go ahead and I can freeze the time. That's fine. Remember it said it had four hours left? 
so if I was to put it at 1404 it doesn't do anything except changes time but if I put it to 1504 notice how everything just loaded and it's got the tags on them now it's got Kansas City it's it's tagged it in blocks this all has to do with the industry configuration I don't think I can take it back now that I've done it no see it's already that you you'd have to bring in empties again and if you were to bring in empties again to one of these tracks I don't know if it would be this one let's just say it is this one I'll delete that in there and uh, we'll see what we can bring in so it's 1404 and let's just pretend we brought in a bunch of I don't know bear table train oops I gotta go the other way don't I freight cars uh, freight cars not what do we got auto racks no 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 well cars okay so I'm going to do the China ones and I am going to I'll just put in a few so let's say we drop 10, 10 one of the trains actually specified SBI as, as a destination so we're going to place this on here and we place them right here Oh, I didn't put the tags on them. So because I didn't put the tags on them, they're not going to know what the heck that is, I don't think. Well, there's a bunch of well cars that say none in 226. I don't know if they will work. I'm going to try tagging these all to SBI and see if it works. Wow, it's not letting me do what I want here. Okay, get. That's not what I wanted. Okay. That's kind of neat. I've never seen this little little yellow thing before. Why is it pasting? Never mind. Do that. Okay. So now I've clicked on it. I've uh, did whatever I had to do. And is it doing it? Well, 226 is all of a sudden. Well, I guess it's, oh, it's four hours. So it's in 226, right? Because the other ones we made ready. So now, there you go. So, so now you drop it off. It has a four-hour uh, window of turning it over. That's why they're empty. And then, uh, once again, you go up another four hours. It's calling it storage now. What the heck? I guess that turns that that particular track turns it into storage or something. I I have no idea. I don't know what that was. Yeah, it's calling it destination SBD storage. So I don't know. I don't know what the industry was set up for it, but it it, it tagged it back to empty and said, okay, now you're going back into storage. But whatever. So the idea here though is you just freeze the time if you want to stop the process from happening or you go into your industry configuration and you set up a ridiculous amount you can the maximum you can set is seven days um, so either you start with a slow a lower area you start with something small uh, run a short line 
and run a train in every you know every day save it or whatever you know dispatch have your mainline trains go through um, so there's it's really up to you it's 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 that simple um, so again hopefully that makes sense I mean that was a little bit of a learning experience because I haven't done that part in a little while but uh, you can set it's very it's actually very very powerful uh, as much as I'm not a big fan of the random generator as as far as uh, how they tag because it's not logistically sound you have when you when you tag when you have waybills coming in they come in from everywhere so if you have them coming in from say you have uh, trains that have either they have to have local or they have to have bridge traffic you can't have both you can't have a combination and in the real world you have a combination of both bridge and local traffic and what I mean by bridge and local traffic I mean local traffic that serves the industries bridge traffic that comes in to Barstow and then goes out on another train and never serves an industry run 8 version 2 does not have that ability to specify oh, okay your train is going to have some way bills like RTS version 1 was able to do it RTS version 1 was able to specify having bridge traffic and local traffic that's that's why I I decided to, you know or basically a lot of us have decided to uh, override that we still use the industries because this works perfect as far as the industries go they they do a pretty good job of you know managing time uh, keeping track of time how long it's been there and then when it has to load or empty it and it retags it and it will randomly select certain tags if you know again it's you're relying on a little bit of randomness but it's not that big of a deal for that so anyways that's all I got to say for tonight and uh, hopefully that's helpful um, like comment post on my forums let me know if there's anything that's you know this isn't covered I don't want to spend a great deal of my time going through tutorials the only reason why I did this tonight was I was bored and I was reading the forums and I saw somebody that was looking for help and I'm already half an hour more this is like I said this is a an extensive extensive process and you can go through all kinds of things you can have it as simple as you want or you can make it as complex as you want it's really up to you um, so if you have any specific questions or you know basically how to that's how you get started and from there you just you just start bringing in trains and and, and start with the industries um, just make some backups for the configs and you should be fine so anyways hope that helps let me know See ya.